Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to go through putting together the CO2 tubes. All right, so for those who are following along with the algae CO2 scrubber, what we're doing today is putting together the tubes itself and assembling the majority of the components. So what we're going to do to start off with is looking at those air bubblers. We want to attach them to the adapters that are created. Now, they do initially come with these plastic clips. Now, the plastic clips, we're going to need to grind the base back to a flat thing so we can actually attach them on. So I've just gone and cut them all off and grinded them down. Now, it's a bit rough. I'm not too fussed because what we're going to do is use a two-part epoxy uh, that's going to join it to the plastic. And we're just going to set all four of those aside just to sit there and dry. While we're waiting for those, we're going to move on to the lids. Now, the lids, what we're going to do is uh, require this port at the top to attach a tube. Now, that's where the air is going to come out. And we're going to need two holes on the actual base. So you can see I've drilled and cut out those lids there. And as you can see, the hose will then fit on the top. Now, I'm marking out each of these lids. So I've got one to four. And what we're going to do is assign each of those water temperature sensors from previous video. Now, they'll be set up so that I know exactly which one's which because if I need to calibrate any of them a little bit. Now, I've run the sensor through and actually uh, used that same epoxy to glue it down or attach it down to the bracket. And I'm also using some cable ties just to make sure it's not floating around. It's kind of fixed a bit more. Now that they're all set, and in place they're not going to move i can start to disconnect each one of these sensors one by one and i'll thread them through that lid now i've got a hole for the sensor to run through and i've also got a hole for the inlet pipe or tubing so once they're threaded through i can actually attach that to the air bubbler and then clip the air bubbler down to those clips that i've glued in place now, all four of these are exactly the same. There's no difference in where the bubblers or the sensors are located. So it should keep our test results all similar to each other or I guess uh, less of a uh, varying result. Now, once I've put those on, I haven't glued the lids together yet or use some type of, uh, I guess, resin or something to attach them. I'm just kind of have them sitting there for the moment. I'll save that for another video because uh, there is a couple more things I want to do with these tubes. But now that I've done one, I'll do it across to all four of these and we should have a setup like this. So we'll have the inlet pipe where the air will go in into where the bubbler is. The air will then come up through and then out the top and we can then measure the change in the air out the top. So here's all four of them set up. Uh, ready to go now there is a couple more little things I want to do uh, on these tubes which I'll show you in another video but that's about it for this video hope you enjoy make sure you like and subscribe to stay up to date with the co2 project thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time